guys, Marina here from yes to tech Welcome to Tech Tuesday, where I remove the tech stress that comes along with running a successful online business. Today I'm going to talk about how to customize a ConvertKit opt-in form, so that you can learn how to customize ConvertKit forms to match your branding. I use ConvertKit every single day in my online business without fail, and it's the most robust email marketing platform out there at a reasonable price. It's what I use and recommend to all of my students, and now's your turn to rock at email marketing with ConvertKit as well. Stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how to customize ConvertKit forms to match your branding and to get a free 30-day trial of ConvertKit so that you can test the platform out stress-free. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every Tuesday when I post a new video. All right, so let's get right into how to customize ConvertKit opt-in forms. After you log in to your ConvertKit account, click on Forms and Landing Pages from the menu up top, and then on the red New Form button. You'll be prompted with whether you want to create a form or a landing page to gather new subscribers. Go ahead and click on Form. We already have a video on how to use ConvertKit to create a landing page, so make sure to click on the link in the description box below or in the cards above to watch that video. Now choose the display format of this form. Inline so that it is within the body of your text, modal so that it pops up on your screen, or slide in so that it sneaks in from the side. I'll go ahead and choose inline. Now choose a template to customize from the available options. I'll go ahead and choose this one on the top right hand side. You can click on any of the elements within the opt-in form to edit them. For instance, we can change the header text so that it says, want a free spreadsheet with the 100 plus best Facebook groups for bloggers. And the subheader so that it says, fill out the form below now to get the free spreadsheet in your inbox instantly. You can also change the form placeholder text, the button text, and what appears below the opt-in form. You may have noticed that each time I clicked on a different element, this styles customizer appeared on the right. From there, you can edit the header color, the font size and font weight, the subheader font color and font size, the field label, toggle whether it's required or not, just note that the email addresses are always required, font color, border color, border radius and font weight, the button font color, background color, border radius and font weight, the guarantee font color, font size and font weight, and toggle whether you want to show or hide the Powered by ConvertKit link. To add a new field, such as a name field, click on the plus sign below the already existing email address field. You can save this new field as a custom field, such as first name, or have your new subscriber add a tag to themselves, either from a dropdown or checkboxes. You can change the new field label, toggle whether it's required or not, delete this field if you don't want it anymore, and edit the field's font color, border color, border radius, and font weight. To reorder existing fields, such as to place the first name above the email address, just place your cursor above the three lines on the left-hand side of the field and drag and drop it to its new location. From the panel on the right, under Settings, you can change the form settings to determine what happens after a visitor subscribes to the form 
So either show a success message or redirect them to another page. Under incentive email, you can select whether you wish to send an incentive email to new subscribers to this form. And to edit this incentive email, click on edit email contents and change the from email address, the subject and message you can choose whether you want to auto confirm new subscribers and decide what happens after confirming the redirect. In other words, what happens after someone clicks this button within the incentive email. You can either redirect them to an URL, such as a thank you page, or redirect them to a download, such as a lead magnet they just signed up for. Under styles, you can view which opt-in form template you're currently using, change the template to another one, and customize the overall opt-in form's background color, border radius, background image, background opacity, and custom CSS. Under advanced settings, you can change what's shown to return visitors who have already subscribed to this form. So you can continue to show the form, hide the form, or show custom content. You can also decide whether to send subscribers to thank you page and to enable reCAPTCHA on your form. Once you're done customizing your opt-in form in ConvertKit, click on Save up top to make your changes active, and then on Embed to embed your opt-in form wherever you wish, using JavaScript, HTML, a share link, WordPress, or Unbounce. Now you know how to customize a ConvertKit opt-in form to match your branding. To help you get started with ConvertKit, when you click on the link in the description box below, you'll get a free 30-day trial of ConvertKit so that you can test the platform out without investing a dime. So what are you using ConvertKit forms for? Leave your answer in the comment section below and make sure to click on the link in the description box to get a free 30-day trial of ConvertKit. If you liked this video, give me a like below, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.